Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, Salvador. How are you? Welcome. How are you? How are you today? Good evening. Hello, hi. Hello, guys. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, it's 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 actually you know glad to have you here, bad guys. Ready to the English class? Are you ready? So so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This so so. It's like I don't know, like challenging. <laughs> um, uh, we are tired. Oh, I know, I know, but you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> right. So sometimes days are very complicated. Those there are like some more difficult days than others, right? There are some difficult days than others, and uh, in my case, it's a little diff different because those days being a real mess. But these days, like very relaxed to me, very relaxed. Count down, count down. So other days are you know harder. Uh, did you have dinner? D did you have your dinner? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> okay, you you did in the, in the case you ate, and did you have your dinner, Salvador? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, done, done. Okay, all right. That's nice. That's nice to know that. All right, it's because you know sometimes we eat like earlier. Sometimes people eat late, so that can change. Uh, hello, uh, ever. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, snack, snacks, the uh, fruit and I guess. Oh, snacks. Oh, some snacks. Okay. Could be. Yeah, that's nice. But I mean, uh, I mean, but you don't eat after the class, right? But you don't eat after the class. No. No comen después de la clase? No, verdad? Yo no. <laughs> no, okay. No. Yeah, sometimes I've been like a little busy that I have eaten after the class. But it's, wow, it's it's very heavy. It's not recommendable to eat in different times. Like, no es recomendable eso, comer diferentes tiempos. Es decir, o sea, tratar de tener un, una, una hora específica para comer. Is healthy, so it's definitely healthy. Okay, so let's welcome to Ever. Hello, Ever. How are you? Good night, everyone. Good night. I'm fine. Excellent. Did you have your dinner? Your your dinner? Pupusitas? No. 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 No dinner yet. I have a dinner. Uh, a traditional dinner. Oh, the traditional dinner. Okay, cool. But you, but you ate. You fin. You ate. I finished a couple, oh. a, a couple eggs, and a little beans, and a little coffee too. Nice, nice, Much nice, nice. Excellent. Hi. Uh, we also have Jose Merino. He says good night. Uh, Jose Angel Merino Urrutia is greeting you. Okay. It's a pleasure, Jose Merino, too. Welcome. So all of you guys, and it's actually a pleasure, you know, to have you here back, guys, ready to our English class and also ready to learn English because it's, it's important. As we know, we just um, every day think about different things for studying English and practicing learning. That's that's very important, you know, to study English. Okay, so, well, we also have Karina, we also have Trinidad, uh, Victoria, uh, Jose Merino, and Gilmar, so we got them here. So, well, let's let's start, you know, with the class, and I just I feel, you know, very good, you know, very good. Good night, Hello, Jose, nice, nice to, nice to greet you. How are you? Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi. I'm fine, thank you. Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. Very nice here. Like um, fine, thanks. And you? Or, oh, nice. Thank, thanks for asking. I'm, I'm okay. Um, I mean, I'm, I was, I'm, a, I'm a little relaxed today, 
Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm very relaxed, very calm down. So, hoy es un día de los que paso súper tranquilo, súper bien, porque no siempre es así. Hay días que we'll have do this, do this, right? I'm like a machine, like a machine, right? And also like a, sometimes doing a lot of things, a lot of work, it's all like an octopus. Right? Como que fuéramos pulpitos ahí haciendo una cosa y otra. Y a eso le llamamos multitasking. Ya vamos a ver un term. Hay un término de eso. Right, sorry, I'm going to study this one later. Okay. Um, so I think we have like great people here. We have also Gilmar, Crisia, and also, you know, Jose that join us today and Maria Victoria. Oh, Victoria Maria. So it's the opposite. All right. Cool. And guys, how's the weather like? How's the weather? How's the weather, guys? It's cold. It's hot. It's warm. So how's the weather? How's the weather? It's raining. It's raining. Wow. Here it rained earlier, but now I feel you know hot. I need a I need a very nice air conditioning in my in my, my room. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, that's good. I need an air conditioning. Okay, so we're gonna start today. Before that we started class, I would like to ask you what did what did we study in the last class? It's mean yesterday. What did we do? What do you remember, guys? Uh, what what did we did in the class? What do you what do you uh, remember about the class? A ver, ¿quién nos dice who who tell us what we studied? ¿Qué estudiamos? Yes. Action in different uh, words. Okay. Okay, okay. And the days of week. Okay. And we uh, learn to describe to different occupation their, their jobs, ours and the other people uh, to work in our workplace. Okay, okay, okay. The present simple and to uh, describe to to the daily routine or partners the, the the class. Thank you so much. That was very clear and uh, you know, explanation. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, he's good. He's good. Good English. All right. Uh, somebody else would like to would like to socialize about and uh, what we studied, or something that maybe you you like you know, or calls your attention about a class, right? Algo que le haya llamado la atención, que alguna actividad. Teacher, mira esta actividad, me gustó. No sé, algo así. Something like that. Maybe you will remember. Maybe you remember about the class. Complete conversation, no, sí, conversation creo que era. A paragraph, or like a, ah, yeah, yeah. Paragraph. It, it was a description, yeah, it was a description about daily routine. Yeah. Excellent, thank you, Karen. Okay, you and, please imagine. Yes, yes. Actividades Yeah, describing some locations, right? Excellent. You're do you're doing great. Why? Right. So we can see here um, part of the activities that we de developed in the last class. We, as, as in this case, we socialized, and uh, we were talking about those activities. And I just I just remember. Uh, because uh, Salvador remember us about this activity. Thank you, Salvador. So we were talking about describing some pictures and also we describe what kind of jobs we can uh, find here in those places. And also you describe everything around what things you saw and also what 
locations, you know, what do you see around and what kind of jobs, you know, people have right there and also some locations we can see here in the pictures. And look at this. So those are like important jobs. And at the same time, we socialize about some jobs like software engineer. We socialized those occupations and practice the date of the week. Uh, we completed some statements using the verb uh, for you know all the structures, you know, the simple present. Look at this. Days of the waking order. And we talk about the my daily routines, my partner's daily routines too. This is like uh, the most important that we socialized in, in the yesterday's class. And that was really good because we could use our vocabulary. I mean, perhaps that now we cannot uh, formulate some statements as we would like to. Eh, puede ser que de repente no formulemos las oraciones como nos gustaría y que Teacher, mire que me cuesta, de verdad, pero es que estamos en un buen camino, estamos en un camino correcto. Ya cuando ustedes ya vayan avanzando otros niveles, van a sentir la diferencia. Van a sentir la diferencia, hasta me van a decir, no, me teacher, eso estaba bien fácil. Nos hubiera puesto una mejor, más, más pesada. O sea, ya ustedes van a exigir más, ya van a ver, se acordarán. But everything because of the contents we were studying. And one of the sessions somebody told me, teacher, me gustaría estudiar un poquito cerca de las... WA equations. Alguien me decía, y justamente en este contenido vamos a estudiar lo que son las W equations. Y es eh, exactamente a lo que vamos a estudiar en esta clase. But eh, before, I would like to pass the attendance list because we, we have uh, 15 students. And I need to congratulate because of the time. You are here on time and you're ready for the class. And I really love that you are always on time. Eso es importante, que estén siempre a tiempo y, y una de las observaciones es esa, que hay muchos estudiantes que están justamente a tiempo. Eh, otra cosa que, bueno, comentarles de que de repente hay estudiantes que escriben en el grupo que tienen dificultades porque no pueden ingresar y está bien, ¿verdad? Y otras por eh, diferentes motivos. Eh, recuerden de que eh, Insafor eh, solicita lo, lo mínimo un 80% de, de asistencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, intenten, como decimos, priorizar todas las clases y no faltar, porque sí, es importante que tengan, o sea, si tienen el 100%, mucho que mejor, ¿verdad? Pero lo mínimo en este caso sería el 80% de asistencia, ¿verdad? Para que lo puedan tomar en serio, porque eh, de repente me dicen, teacher, mire, es que no puedo venir, deme un permiso, pero es que, bueno, nosotros no podemos otorgar ese, eh, permisos, porque es Insafor, ¿verdad? Quien, quien da las directrices, da la, la dirección de del tiempo y todo, y incluso me preguntaban, teacher, ¿y si puedo solicitar un permiso con Insafor? Entonces me dijeron, me dicen que no, ¿verdad? Que no se puede por diferentes circunstancias. Entonces procuremos eh, estar, ¿verdad? Eh, ese 80% y más. Y aparte de eso también porque estamos aprendiendo, pues entonces es, es bastante importante que lo podamos tomar en cuenta. Hoy sí, vamos ya a iniciar nuestro siguiente tema. We're going to start the following topic. And we are in the, in this case, the third week. So we're studying, where do you work? That's the question. Where do you work? And uh, this is the name of this unit. This is unit number three. Look at this. And we have this name of the conference. Video conference 11, information questions and answer with what? So information questions and answers. That's the main topic in the unit that is where do you work? So describing the locations, the places where we work. And we have learned a lot. Hemos aprendido un poquito de esto. Así que vamos con la, eh, you know, part of the activities, right? Esto es la, la parte de la presentación que quería hacerles. Eh, eh, answer questions and answers, especially with the last W equations. Vamos a ver. Bien, pasemos la asistencia. We're going to pass the attendance list right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go, let's go. All right. Um, Adela Trinidad González. Present. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Carlos Eduardo. He's not. Eric Guillermo. 
Excellent. Uh, ever the Jesus can can dry? Present. Uh, Gilmar Cruz Mendez? Present. Ina Crisia Santos? Present. Uh, Jose Angel Guardado? Jose Angel? Eh, no sé si estaba por acá. No. Sí, estaba por acá, pero como que tiene problemas porque entra, sale, entra, sale. Ah, ok, ok, ok. So we're going to be alert. Thank you. Thank you. Um, José David Rivera. José David Rivera no está. Eh, Karen Lisset. Present. Thank you. Karina Jamile de Espinosa. Present. Eh, Catherine Abigail Cuellar. Catherine Abigail. Eh, Marlene Jamilet. Marlene Jamilet Herrera. Eh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Misael Rivera Aquino. No. Eh, Nancy Lisette Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Present. Um, Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present. Eh, Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jancy Guadalupe Erazo. Present. Thanks. And Jancy eh, Magdalena Hernández. Jancy Magdalena Hernández. She's not. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, let's, let's just start with the contents. We have the first activity. I would like to share with you guys right now and with the purpose to practice and learn. So we're gonna, we're gonna show the next one. Uh, I will be able to. Victoria, help me to read uh, this slide. Help me to read. What are we going to be capable to do? Help me to read, Victoria. Ayúdeme a leer. Okay. Uh, I will be able to describe the different departments in your workplace and what they, they do. Okay, thank you, Victoria. Describe and departments. Describe and departments, okay? Thank you, that was good, that was, that, that was the goal. That was the goal. Describe the different departments in your workplace. O sea, que vamos a estudiar un poquito acerca de los departamentos. ¿Qué departamentos eh, hay en nuestro lugar de trabajo? Because we know that we have some, we have a specific job, we know what people do, we know what people do in activities, pero que hay diferentes departamentos. Somebody said that they are like uh, some kind of departments, like a charging, charging department. A human resources department, technology department. So we have different departments. Hay diferentes departamentos. ¿Y qué hacen ellos? Vamos a ver. This is como la, lo que seremos capaces de describir este día. Vamos a describir los departamentos que se encuentran dentro de nuestro trabajo. Okay, look at this one. Brainstorming. Let's start brainstorm about the different departments in your workplace. Where do you belong to and what do you do? These are the questions that we're going to socialize for today's class. Eh, vamos a hacer un pequeño brainstorming, una lluvia de ideas. Y vamos a, eh, a contestar the following questions. Where do you belong to? ¿A dónde perteneces? Es decir, ¿a qué departamento? Eh, what department do you belong to? Or where do you belong to? And what do you do? ¿Y qué es lo que hace ahí? La segunda pregunta no le va a ser tan difícil porque usted ya, 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 ya describe qué hace, qué, la, qué cosas hace 
I work in this one, I monitor customers, I check the products, I verify the personnel, I, may, I answer some emails from the customers, I make some phone calls, I have some meetings, I bring some, uh, make some deliveries, I'm in charge of controlling the groups, and you have a lot of things to do. And also we're gonna describe about some departments. Vamos a darles como una idea acerca de qué tipo de departamentos hay. Vamos a ver. Para empezar, eh, vamos a responder esto. What is a department? Eh, imagínense que me pregunten a mí, yo decir department. Ah, eh, departamento del Salvador. No, it's not about that. Entonces, eh, hablamos acerca de inside the company. Department. Eh, ok, Saul, help me to read. Ayúdeme a leer esta parte, Saul. Hola, teacher. ¿Me escucha? Eh, yes. Ayúdenos a leer la yes. parte que está ahí, donde dice department. Ok. Department new. A uh, district part of a meeting. Aren't in division. A uh, division of a complex world or organization system. One of the principal branches of a governmental organization. Thank you so much. I mean, I gave you the definition about what the, what the department is. As we know, it's a distinct, you know, as you say, anything arranged in divisions, right? In a company, because the company is big, there are different divisions. These divisions, they work specifically to, to make a whole company. Todas esas divisiones eh, trabajan, por eso dice, or organized systems, como un sistema organizado. Organized systems, one of the principal branches of an organization. Aquí nos pone el ejemplo de una organización gubernamental, pero no necesariamente. Puede ser una private company, una empresa privada, private company, so it's a division. So, y aquí tenemos algunos, algunas funciones, algunos departamentos. Look at this. Functions of various departments. Production department, production department, finance department, finance department, human resource department. In some cases, information technology department, marketing and sales department, and in some cases, information, right? So it's actually the same, right? So, but look at this one. There are some other departments that maybe you can uh, socialize here in the class. Puede que su, eh, donde usted trabaja, hayan otro tipo de, de funciones, right? So there could be some other functions, right? So what you have to do is to answer the questions. Uh, where do you belong to and what do you do? Okay, I work in the, well, teacher, I work in the information technology department. What I do is I create some banners, I create pamphlets for promoting the, the company uh, to different people through the social networks. I create publicity for my company and I just uh, let them know about what products or service we uh, are currently, you know, showing or advertising. So something like that. Entonces, en este momento usted va a contestar estas dos preguntas. Where do you belong to? Or what department do you belong? To? And what do you do? Okay. For this, we have a, a couple of minutes to answer the two questions. Okay. And then uh, some of you will be selected to share this information. Muy bien. Así que vamos a contestar estas dos preguntas. Eh, recordarles que les mandé la presentación. No sé si la pudieron apreciar. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You got it. That's interesting. You got it. Teacher. The, Hello. The answer. Answer. 
the answer sería I belong to. Ajá, uh -huh. I belong to Human Resource Department. Okay. Eh, because the question will be, yo pertenezco a. Entonces, I, I belong to the Publicity Department, Marketing and Sales Department, eh, Production Department, Logistic Department, también hay, hay Departamento de Logística, Logistic Department too. Okay, any questions or doubts? Questions or doubts? No questions? Finish teacher. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Somebody else finish too.
Okay. Uh, no questions? Questions or doubts? Salvador? No questions. No questions. Eric? No questions, Eric. No question, teacher. All right, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Karina? No questions. No question. Excellent. Gilmar? Excuse me, teacher. Eh, yes. Que hay que ser, eh, a qué departamento pertenezco y que lo que hago, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Yes. También eh, las áreas que existen en el trabajo. ¿Sí? Eh, en este caso, solo la eh, a la que usted pertenece. Solo la que pertenezco. Ah, okay. Ajá. Yes. Thank you. ¿Puede mencionar también algunos departamentos que usted, eh, por ejemplo, eh, qué diferentes departamentos hay? Si usted quiere mencionar, por ejemplo, qué departamentos eh, existen, usted puede mencionar los que usted conoce o los que ha escuchado. Eh, pueden ser también parte de esto, como Production, Finance, Human Resource. Um, information technology department so you can you know mention some of them okay Thank yes you. you're welcome okay no se les olvide que tienen que tener sus cámaras encendidas también eh, Insafor es bastante estricto en eso, ¿verdad? Que tienen que estar con las cámaras encendidas. Pero es algo que ya ustedes lo saben desde el principio y siempre se les recuerda en, los, en nuestras clases. Eh, ya estamos casi listos, casi listos. Eh, ¿Estamos ya listos? ¿Qué dicen? ¿Yes? ¿Yes, yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, we're going to yes. have a short time to socialize with your partner. We're going to work in pairs. And you're going to socialize about, uh, for example, what, the, what department do you belong to? And also, what do you do in the workplace? So, we're going to work in pairs in order to make it fast. And we're going to have a, a seven minutes to practice with this. So just one second to create a group. We're going to make a groups. And we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar in pairs. Let's go. Así que eh, entramos a los break up y compartimos brevemente lo que hacemos y a qué departamento pertenecemos. What department do you belong? Eh, José Merino, ¿se encuentra acá? José Merino, ¿se encuentra acá? ¿Será quizás la señal? No sé. What could be this situation? Ok. 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 So we're going to visit a group right now to see how they are socializing. Okay, cool. 
Okay, let me see. All right, look at this. E. Mm -hmm. L. O. N. And G. The question is, where do you belong to? Belong to. No, siempre me perdí. Quiero ver. Ah. No, pero no, no está. No está en la presentación así como una pregunta. Sí. Eh... Está en la lámina 6, si no me equivoco, en donde está el tema como en verde, que dice brainstorming. Dice, let's start brainstorming about the different departments in your workplace. De, de, y la primera pregunta es, eh, where do you belong to? Where belong. Ay, le estaba confiando más. Acá está en el chat, puso el teacher. What do you belong to? What department do you belong to? Mm, yeah, no. right. Right. Entonces, Victoria, en Hola. el chat, en el chat puso el teacher, eh, ¿cuál sería la, 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 la pregunta? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Si puede revisar el chat ahorita dice What department do you belong to? Vaya, ahora sí. Ok. Let's go entonces. Eh, si gusta empieza usted o yo. Um... Empiece usted. Ok, le pregunto. Victoria, what department do you belong to? I belong to the Department Education. Department Education, ok. Mm -hmm. You are a teacher too, like a, like a, or teach, William. Usted es maestra también. Sí. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. What do you do in the school? In the, in the... I am basic education teacher. I am charge of fourth grade. Eso sí, no sé lo último. Pero estoy a cargo de cuarto grado. Usted es maestra de, de, de cuarto, orientadora. Ajá, de cuarto grado. Orientadora puede ser también. O como maestra guía de cuarto grado. Ah, okay. Ahí en, en, el, en el chat le puso teacher, Ajá. I am third of fourth grade. I am third of fourth grade. Of fourth grade. Estoy a cargo del cuarto. Ajá. ¿Qué sería? Estoy a cargo del cuarto grado. Ok. ¿Cómo se lee cuarto? Dice, ese es fourth. 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 With, with this. Fourth. Ta. fourth. Yes. So I am I am I am a guiding teacher of third grade para decir soy el maestro guía de cuarto grado. I am a guiding teacher of fourth grade. Okay, gracias. Guiding is guía. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, hoy formule usted las preguntas. Voy, permítame. What 
department do you belong to? I belong to a cell department. De millón y medio, cientos. Uy, bastante. Sí, sí. Um, otra. ¿Qué, ¿Qué más era? Ay, se Para ti. Las áreas. Ya dijimos la, 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 el departamento que proponemos. ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos? Ah, la, uh -huh. la actividad. Y los otros departamentos, production, es como cambiar. Hombre, el you material to finish. Product. Producto. Sí. En tu caso. Otra, otra área que tengas tú. Ahora, fíjate que casi no te escucho, me voy a poner los audífonos. Se escucha. Sí, sí. Sí. Uh, in, in my workplace, um, there are um, department here over. I am in the production department. To uh, the seller department, departamento de ventas, Sell, sales, sería verdad, sales. Yes, yes, yes. And there, there are. Manager department and I creo que eso es todo. Ahí, ahí es pequeño donde yo trabajo. This is small. Okay. And in my jobs. Uh... Department, the inventory, sales, the financial, the call center, much more. It's very complete the company. What other? What other could we add? También de marketing, ahí sabe, ¿no? Marketing, information, de AT, ¿viste? Mm -hmm. En mi workplace, there is no marketing department. Uh, mm, no. Just do what I say. No more. I have below in the in the technical department. Eh, y todos los demás departamentos que están. Y le decía de multimedia department, department mobile, de department de computer the department the the quality uh, customer verdad 
Entonces, es un departamento de calidad de todas las áreas. Eso básicamente, compañero. Sí, es grande ese departamento. Sí, so sorry, el teacher nos, no, me sacó ahí. Ya lo hice público. Mm. Así que así estamos. Teacher, so sorry. Hello. Porque entré tarde a la, a la clase, tenía problemas con el internet. Ahí yeah. decía Karina que no le había podido escribir, pero estaba más preocupado por entrar que por escribir. No se preocupe. Si está lloviendo fuerte, súper fuerte en algunas sí. zonas y a veces el internet también lo hace más difícil. Cabana. No sé si me escuchan así con un gran ruido o poco. Eh, no, se escucha un ruido al fondo, pero se escucha claro. Ah, qué bueno, me alegra sí. porque sí, está lloviendo súper fuerte. Bien, vamos sí, a regresar. Ok, vamos a regresar luego a lo que son los, eh, a la sección principal, así que voy a ir a momento. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay, thank you guys for being here back. You know, we had the opportunity uh, to practice with our partners and that was really fantastic because we can um, socialize, you know, important information and also practice new vocabulary. Perhaps, as I told you, um, we're not like working, I mean, with the stray ideas because we are producing the language, right? Puede ser de que no, no lo expresemos tan claro como esperamos, pero lo importante es que usted está produciendo el idioma. You are producing the language. And this is something that I like a lot because you are working in the best way you can. So I really love that. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, if you see like a, a noise, uh, there is a background because uh, in my, my neighborhood, it's raining a lot. So it started to rain. Comenzó a llover bien fuerte. Así que si ustedes escuchan ahí mero raro, pues son efectos de la naturaleza. <ríe> Así que para que vean ahí que qué bonito el fondo del teacher, ¿verdad? Ahí eh, el sonido ahí. Así que you take into account that guys, right? Ya se escucha música reggaeton, no es aquí. <ríe> okay, we go with that. And uh, so actually and we are talking about uh, different topics about jobs positions, about places, locations. Y vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Uh, look at this one. Listen to your teacher, read the following department in a company, then match them with the activities they perform. Y tenemos, we're going to use a color. We're going to use my magic pen. I got a magic pen here. We're going to use the color red, uh, color green. Okay. Look at this one. The pronunciation about this word is production. This department is called production. The next department is research and development research and development the next department is purchasing purchasing department purchasing the next one marketing department marketing department human resources management accounting and finance this is another department so those are like the departments see, that look at this. Uh, this. But you say human resource manage, managing. 
human resource human resources management human Manage. management management Manage. yeah human resources management okay. yes that is the department accounting and finance 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 production research and development purchasing marketing human resources management accounting and finance y tenemos algunas definiciones eh, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place recruit select and train new employees for the right job in the company keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Control and supervise the production, workforce and inventory. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes by and acquire raw materials production equipment etc for the use of the organizations for this one i will i would like you to do something eh, van a tratar de unir el concepto con la definición eso es lo que ustedes van a intentar hacer eh, vamos a darle unos minutitos eh, We're going to work uh, four minutes for this. Cuatro minutos para esto. Y eh, luego hacemos un feedback. Vamos a revisar cuál, es, cuál corresponde a cada una. Así que tenemos unos minutitos. We have some minutes to try to answer this part. Y unir el, el trabajo con la descripción. We're going to join the job with its definition. So we can try. We can do it. If you have questions, you got the opportunity to ask questions about it. No tenga pena, no le dé miedo, usted pregúnteme, pregunte, no tenga miedo ahí que no sé que el teacher me va a decir algo. Pues sí, le voy a dar la respuesta o le voy a ayudar. Entonces, lo importante es que lo intente, right? Y eso, eso me gusta mucho, que lo intente. Así que vamos a unos minutitos y el primero que ya lo tenga me dice, teacher, ready, let's go. We can do it. Bonus extra. Excuse me? Yes? Bonus extra, primero. Ah, mire, ahí, puntitos extra, dice. <laughs> ok. Teacher, how do you pronounce development? Good question. The pronunciation is development. 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 Yes, development. Development. Yes. Teacher, how many first case? Uh, three. No sé cómo se pronuncia. It, it is pronounced purchasing, purchased, purchasing, purchasing. Okay, that's it. Purchasing, yes. Okay, we go with that.
Entonces tenemos production, research and development, purchasing, marketing, human resources management, accounting and finance. Good jobs. Uh, are, are one of you are in human resources management. ¿Alguien estará por casualidad en algún departamento de recursos humanos? From this group? Nobody? Nobody's human resources. Okay. Nobody's in human resources. All right. Ready, teacher. Ready. Okay. Ever is ready. Nice, Ever. He has a good record. That's cool. Okay. I'm ready too, teacher. Oh my God, that's good, that's good. Esto se está poniendo bueno. Muy bien. Ahorita estoy pensando aquí, el, mi hamster está pensando a quién le, le puedo preguntar. Lo vamos a hacer democráticamente o lo hacemos dedocráticamente. Voy señalando ahí. Ustedes me dicen. ¿Qué dice el público? <laughs> ok. Voluntary. Ah, voluntary, dicen algo así, como no, no me va a preguntar el teacher. ¿verdad? Ahí está, ahí está. Hay varios que apoyan esa noción. <laughs> ok, cool. We're going to start with the first one. I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer for the first one. And production. Where can we find the definition about production? What is that? Me, teacher. Ok. Let control and uh, control and supervise the production workforce and invent inventory. Okay, control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Será esa eh... ¿Qué dicen? ¿Están de acuerdo? No será buy and acquire raw material, material, production equipment. Esta dice, eh, vamos, a, vamos a darle la traducción, ya que la idea es que ustedes puedan eh, fortalecer lo que es esta estructura. Cuando hablamos acerca de, de workforce, porque es a word that called my attention, dice que controla y supervisa la producción eh, del personal eh, inventory que sería como el y el inventario será esa accounting and finance qué dicen ustedes o creen que sea production 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 entonces production sería controlar y supervisar la producción el personal y el inventario right okay okay Excelente, excelente. Vamos a ver, entonces le vamos a poner the number one. Ustedes mandan aquí. Ustedes mandan. <ríe> ok, number two. Research and development. Human develop, develop, development. Research and development. Editor. Yes, yes. The second the definition. A research and identify what customer wants and need at the right place. Mm, ok, yeah. Ok, entonces sería número dos. Miren, como este lápiz digital, no se vayan a burlar de mis numeritos, porque sí me va a costar una eternidad escribirlos. Ok, miren, ahí está. Este que parece ganchito es un dos. Miren, okay, so don't worry about it. So you understand the part. Okay. Más fácil romano, teacher. Hey, yeah, that, that's right, that's right. In the traditional way. Okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, the next one, purchasing. What is the purchasing department? Buy and acquire. What? Buy? Okay, but read the sentence. Go, léanlo sin miedo. Read it, read it, please. Yes, ayúdenme okay. a leerlo. Buy and acquire raw, raw materials, production, equipment, etc. For the use of the organization. 
Okay, perfect. So, buy and acquire. Acquire significa adquirir. Buy and acquire raw material. Eh, materiales de primera calidad o de primera, en este caso, producción y equipo, etc. En inglés se dice etc. Cuando usted dice teacher, ¿cómo se dice etc. en inglés? Etc. For the use of the organization. Entonces decimos buy and acquire raw materials, eh, material de primera, eh, equipo de producción y por el uso de la organización. Ok, number four, marketing. What's this department? Marketing. Um, Requit, select, no, 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 no. Develop, design, new or improve existing, creo que dice. Yes. Existing product or process. Exactly. Yes. Develop and design new or improve existing products or processes. Ok, entonces es design, desarrollar y diseñar nuevos o productos mejorados existentes o procesos. <risa> Miren qué interesante la definición que nos da eh, de marketing. Yeah. Eh, ok, that's good. And the human resources management. Requit, select and train new employees for the rate or right job in the company. Okay, recruit, recruit. Recruit. Recruit, recruit. So it's como, eh, uid, recruit. Recruit. <laughs> yeah, recruit. Select and train new employees for the right job in the company. In the company. And the six, and the number six, accounting and finance. And finance. Keep the financial records of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Yes, that is the financial records. They check the money, the incomes and outcomes, las salidas, los ingresos y las salidas. So that is like the function about this. Is to keep a financial record or of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows, tanto para las salidas como para los ingresos. So this is like the, the, the important departments. Son como los departamentos más importantes, the most important departments in a company. So you can see here what people, you know, socialize in this department. So it's very interesting, right? Muy bien. Um, do we go next? Uh, questions, doubts about vocabulary, expressions, preguntas, dudas, comments that you would like to socialize? Yes. Yo, teacher, tengo okay. una pregunta. Yes, what is your question? Uh, ¿Qué significa la número tres? Purchasing, no sé ah, cómo se dice. Purchasing, es compras. Compras, sería. Sí, compras. Okay. En este caso, cuando decimos the purchasing department, es como el departamento de compras. Por eso es que dice okay. de que buy and acquire raw materials. O sea, que este departamento se encarga de comprar y adquirir materiales de calidad. Depende el tipo de organización que sea. So, that is, okay. yes, that is the purchasing. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿qué, es la, ¿Qué significa la número dos? Question and the, the loan. Ah, research and development department. Por ejemplo, la palabra research eh, es referente como a la investigación. Investigación y desarrollo. Hay un departamento que se llama Research, que es investigación, and development, que es desarrollo. Eh, mm -hmm. That's why research and identify what customers want, 
and need at the right place. O sea, que esto se encarga de ver what the customers wants for improving the, the service or the product. O sea, que dice que investiga, identifica qué los clientes quieren y necesitan en el, en el lugar correcto. Entonces, ellos investigan eh, qué es lo que el cliente quiere para poder orientar los servicios a la necesidad del cliente. The customer needs, the customer's attention. So that's what they need. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, let's go. I will need to ask the attendant list again because it's actually night right away. So just give me one moment. I'm going to stop sharing and I need to, to do something right now, guys. Just give me one second. It, it is raining today. It's I love the rain. I love, I love the rain because it's refreshed, but you know, it's good, it's good. Here in my house, it's, it's raining, but it's hot, it's, it's still hot. Oh my God, that is a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in my case where I am, it's very fresh. It's very nice. Nice. I can wear a sweater. It's good. It's good, it's good. Okay, así que, as people say in Spanish, como este ladito, hay que ir buscando las cobijas. People say that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, uh, okay, we're going to pass the attendant list. Please uh, do me a favor to say present. We're going to start. Eh, Adela Trinidad Gonzalez. Present. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Milgar. Present. Ah, Carlos, Carlos Eduardo? Sí. Okay. Eh, Eric Guillermo Herrera. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús. Present. Uh, Gilmer. Present. In uh, Crisia. Present. Jose Ángel Guardado. Jose Ángel Guardado. Creo que tuvo problemas con el internet. Jose Ángel. Ya no supimos de él. Eh, José David Rivera. José David Rivera Aquino. No. Karen Lisset Benjibar. Present. Uh, Karina Yamile de Espinosa. Karina Yamile de Espinosa. Eh, Catherine Abigail Cuellar. Present. Ok, thank you, Catherine. Eh, Mar Marlene Yamile de Herrera. No, eh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Misael Rivera Aquino. No. Eh, Nancy Lisset Rodríguez. Present. Uh, Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Present. Eh, Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present. Eh, Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present. Victoria María Vázquez. Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Ok. Eh, Jancy Guadalupe Erazo. Present. Y Jancy Magdalena Hernández. Jancy Magdalena Hernández. Ok. Bien, solo darles un consejo. 
cuando usted, por ejemplo, se incorpore a la clase y ya hemos pasado lista, usted me dice, teacher, aquí estoy, aquí estoy, para que yo lo ponga en la lista. Porque como ahí van contando los minutos, cuántos minutos ha estado, cuántos minutos estuvo en la clase y cuántos no. Entonces, eh, cuando usted se conecte eh, para las demás clases, me dice, teacher, aquí estoy, teacher, presente. Y entonces yo voy a buscarlo rapidito en la lista y lo ponemos. Así que, para que sea la próxima, ¿verdad? Que usted... Eh, se incorpore un poquito tarde de la, de la hora establecida. Muy bien. Let's continue. Let's continue with the class. Vamos con la siguiente parte que es un listening. We have a listening exercise. I love listening because we can uh, develop uh, some skills, the listening skills, and we can socialize some vocabulary. Para eso les voy a compartir un enlace. I will share a link to the by this mean, just one moment. The topic is describing a daily routine. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? What we have to do. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a escuchar una, como un estilo conversation y e iremos completando, por ejemplo, qué actividades va a realizar esta persona eh, durante la semana. Like this, let me show you. Let me show you by this mean, uh, this. Eh, les voy a mandar el link por este medio. I will send the link by this mean. And look at this. And you're going to do this. Look at this. Okay. Listen and match the times with the, the actions. En este caso, eh, meet my friends Bill. ¿Qué día lo va a hacer? Eh, relax at home. ¿Cuándo va a descansar en casa? Work late, ¿qué día lo va a hacer? Business meeting, visit parents, go to the gym, and go out to clubs. Usted lo va a escuchar y lo va a poner según eh, el día que usted escuche en el audio. Usted pone ahí, por ejemplo, eh, go to the gym, ¿qué día va a ser? Ah, un Saturday on Wednesday morning, on Friday night, on Thursday night, on Sunday. Entonces, eso es lo que va a hacer. Necesito que en este momento escuche el audio y lo complemente. Luego lo vamos a socializar en la clase. We're going to socialize the, the audio in the class. Eh, I don't know if you can see it. No sé si lo, lo, ya, ya vieron el enlace. ¿Me confirman? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Ok, les voy a dar unos minutitos para que lo puedan eh, complementar. Este dura 20 segundos, es súper corto. Les voy a dar eh, two minutes and half para que lo puedan complementar y luego lo vamos a contestar here in the class. Ok, let's go. We can do it.
Ready. Ready, teacher. Excellent. Good, good. Okay, that's good. Ready, teacher. All right. Excellent. That was that was very nice. That was very nice. Okay, let's share. It. Ready, teacher. That's cool. All right, let's go. Okay, and for example, if we just highlight here, sorry, just one moment. Okay, meet my friend Bill. What what day? Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. Tuesday. Afternoon. 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 All right. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. We're gonna smell her like this. Yes. Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Cool. Thursday, Thursday. night. On Thursday, Thursday night. Uh, relax. On Thursday night. Okay, good. Okay, we say. Thursday night, okay. Like this. Um, mm -hmm. Work late. On Monday. 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 On Monday, yes. Uh, well, we're gonna move. We're gonna move like this. Okay, a business meeting. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Wednesday morning. Wednesday. Wednesday. Morning. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Okay. Wednesday morning. Okay. Uh, be, uh, visit parents. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. Yes. Go to the gym. Saturday. Saturday. And go to go out to clubs. On Friday night. Go clubbing. That was we say. Go clubbing. Yeah. And we have completed this listening. I think that was easy for you guys. That was an easy listening for you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, do you have a similar a similar schedule? Do you have a similar uh, uh, schedule? Tienen como um, un horario parecido? No? No. No, no right? Very perfect schedule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect schedule. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, so that is good. That is good. Yeah, it's a good schedule. All right. Thank you, guys. That was good. That was good. You did a great job. Okay, let me introduce the next topic that is going to be a piece of cake for you guys. It's going to be very easy. By the way, preguntas sobre vocabulario? No? No questions about vocabulary. Eh, my yeah. friend Bill. ¿Qué significa Bill? Ah, uh, meet. A Bill is the name. Is is the nickname for William. So if you have a friend that is called William, you can say nickname Bill. Bill. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Bill. Como Billy. Bill. Billy Green. Ah, huh? what? Como pequeño Bill. El pequeño Bill. Uh -huh, yeah. So you can say, if you know William, you can say Bill. Hey, hi, Bill. Oh. Hi, Will. Yeah, it's like William. Okay. It's like we say Francisco Chico. No, it's like Chico. Chico. So that's something like that. Juanito. I don't know. <laughs> okay, some nicknames. All right. Now, let's go to the topic. Let's go to the next topic. Eh, vamos con el siguiente tema. Y vamos a utilizar how to use simple present information questions. So, for this, I will need two volunteers for helping me to read. 
Okay. And let me see. Crisia, uh, help me to read the information questions. Y le vamos a pedir a um, Salvador que nos lea la respuesta. Usted lee la pregunta and Salvador answer. You ask the question and Salvador answers. So Crisia asks the question, Salvador answers. Okay? Okay. Okay, Crisia. Okay. What do you do? What do I do? What do I do? As well, uh, I supervise the production work. Where do you work? I work in the account department. Accounting department. Uh, when do we go to meetings? We go to meetings uh, two times a week. How do they plan marketing? They investigate, investigate the customer needs. What, what time, what time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 p.m. Thank you so much. That was good. So we have supervised y la otra que es department. Department. No tiene que sonar otra A, like department. No, it's department. Department. That's the word. And also, um, uh, we can appreciate, like, investigate, take, go, accounting department. Accounting department. Pero, ¿cuál es el objetivo? Poder saber más a través de las preguntas. What, where, when, how, what. Eh, ¿Qué significa where? ¿Dónde? When. ¿Cuándo? How. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Exactly. Entonces tenemos qué, dónde, cuándo y cómo. So, y para una pregunta yo solamente pongo al inicio de la oración esta WH question. Se le llama WH question. Eh, así se le, se le conoce a esta estructura. Es la famosa W equation. So that is the name. Son las W equations. Porque estas nos generan una pregunta a nosotros. Nos indican una pregunta. Y la posición de las W equations va al inicio. What do you do? Or what do I do? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? When do we go to the meetings? ¿Cuándo vamos a, la, a reunirnos o a las reuniones? How do they plan the marketing? ¿Cómo ellos eh, planean el mercado? What time do you take breakfast? ¿A qué horas desayunas? Y vamos viendo eh, las estructuras and the examples in this process. Pero veamos un poquito más de esta estructura. It's going to be like a piece of cake. Who, what, when, which, where, how, and why. Vamos a ver, ¿qué significa la palabra who? Yeah. ¿Quién? Esta es ¿Quién? Mm. Who. Y se pronuncia ¿Quién? con J. Who. 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 Como que la estuviera pronunciando con una J. Who. Sí. Who. Creo, que, creo que hasta hay un grupo de música que se llamaban los Who. I don't know. <risa> Me acordé así. De Chiripa. Ajá. <risa> los Who. Ok. Y luego tenemos What. What. Okay. Ajá, when. ¿Dónde? Okay. ¿Dónde? Eh, ajá. En este caso, eh, en este caso, ¿Dónde? when es cuando. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Ajá. Es para tiempo. Este sí. es para tiempo. tiempo. Which Ay. significa cuál, para referirnos a qué opciones. ¿Cuál? ¿El azul o el verde? ¿El negro o el blanco? Entonces, el which es como para para preguntar cuál necesitas. Y luego tenemos where, para lugar, dónde, okay. how, cómo, ¿Cómo? y why. Okay. ¿Por qué? Ajá. Eh, no profundizo acá porque ya lo vamos a ir eh, describiendo cada una y ahí vamos a ir viendo los ejemplos. 
Vamos con el primero. Let's go with the first one. Okay, like this. Look at this. Look at this. Who? Who is used in questions to ask about people? Here are some examples of W equations that start with who. Eh, who is, is usado en preguntas para, para preguntar acerca de personas. Who are you? ¿Quién eres? Who are you? Who is he? ¿Quién es él? Who is she? ¿Quién es ella? Who do you like? ¿A quién te gusta? Who is your best friend? ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo? Who is on the phone? ¿Quién está en el teléfono? Entonces, vemos cómo el who va al inicio y luego va el verbo to be, porque el who es más para, para personas. El who es exclusivo para personas. Eh, entonces, por eso vemos acá eh, que usamos el who. Who do you like? ¿Quién te gusta? Who do you know? ¿A quién conoces? Who do, who do you see? ¿A quién, ¿A quién ves? Who is your best friend? ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo? Entonces, usamos who para personas, to ask people. Uh, remember that this presentation is in the is in the WhatsApp group. Toda esta presentación está en el grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes la puedan revisar. Y vamos con la siguiente. Let's go with the next one. Tenemos uh, what. What is used in questions to ask about something? Here are some examples of WH questions with what. O sea que el what lo usamos para preguntas acerca de algo, de cosas. Aquí hay algunos ejemplos de las W equations. What is it? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? What's your name? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? What's your last name? ¿Cuál es tu apellido? What do you do? ¿Qué haces? Entonces usamos eh, la estructura de what exclusivamente para esta parte. Look at this. Yes. The difference uh, between what is it and what what is it? What what is what is this? First. Eh, uh -huh. Esta y esta. Exactly. Eh, what is it? Es como que ¿qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Right? Y what is this? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? O esta, o este. Entonces, los dos son bastante similares. La única diferencia es que este this es un adjetivo demostrativo. Porque me dice, me señala cosas. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es este? ¿Qué es esto? Entonces, what is this? Y aquí, pues, la función es simplemente un pronombre. Entonces, pero tienen un significado similar. Ok, thank you. Ok. All right. Okay, vamos con la siguiente. Let's go with the next one. Eh, tenemos quiero ver what what is this? Vamos con when. Este este es when. Look at this. When is used in questions to ask about time. Here are some examples of W equations with when. Okay, un voluntario que me ayuda a leerlas. Who wants to help me to read? The questions. Me. Thank you. When is your birthday? Repeat. When is your birthday? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, birthday. Yes, it's about birthday. Right. Birthday. Oh, it's como happy, happy birthday, right? Ah, uh -huh, birthday. Yes. Okay. When is his birthday? When is the field trip? When is, how many third, uh, is their anniversary? When does the party start? When do you do your homework? When is the soccer game on TV? When are the banks open? Okay, okay, when, when are the banks open? Entonces, eh, este, este when nos indica el tiempo, right? 
when is your birthday, when is the anniversary, when is the party, when does the party start, cuando la fiesta comienza, when do you do your homework, when is the soccer game on TV, when are the banks open. Entonces, este when nos indica tiempo. It's request time, right? Entonces, la única diferencia es que va al inicio de la pregunta, va al inicio, y al final, at the end, you can see the W, eh, the question mark. Acuérdense que el inglés es mucho más fácil porque solo tiene un signo de interrogación. Miren qué interesante, right? Eh, solo tiene un signo. Hasta nos sale más barato porque es solo uno tiene, no como español, que tiene los dos signos. Entonces, eh, es algo eh, de la estructura del inglés. Es bastante simple. La, la estructura del inglés es súper simple a la par de nuestro idioma. So that's why in our language is very complete. Nuestro idioma es muy completo. All right. Uh, let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. That is where. Where. Look at this. Vamos con where. Where is used in equations to ask about place. Here are some examples of W equations with where. Okay. Another volunteer. Otro voluntario. Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Where is my pencil case? Where is your book? Where are my, my glaze? Where is the post office? Where are you where are you from? Where is where is he from? Where does where does she live? She live? Where are Chris and Kelly from? Okay, that's perfect. So we can see here, you know, some questions like, where is my pencil case? Donde esta? Donde esta tu libro? Donde están mis lentes? Where is my post? What is the post office? Where are you from? De donde eres? Where is he from? Where does she live? ¿A dónde vive ella? Where are Chris and Kelly from? ¿De dónde son Kelly y Chris? Entonces, eh, esta estructura nos indica, they say the location, right? They say where the location is. So that's the main purpose about this. Look at this. Okay, y vamos con la siguiente. We go with the next one. Ya que where nos indica lugar. Vamos con why. Why? It's why is used in questions to ask for the reason or ask the reason for something. Here are some examples of W equations and why. En este caso nos pregunta las razones del por qué. Y por qué? Y por qué? So you know why? So we look at some examples here. Uh, why are you so happy? Why are you so happy? ¿Por qué estás tan feliz? Why are you so happy? And uh, why was Chris not in work yesterday? ¿Por qué no estaba Chris en el trabajo ayer? So we are talking about uh, these type of things, right? Uh, why do you run? Why do we need to study English? Why does he always complain? Why do people exercise? Entonces, hace la pregunta el por qué. ¿Por qué la gente se ejercita? ¿Por qué la gente uh, se queja? Right? I don't know. Bien catarsi ya, ¿verdad? Con tanto guay. <laughs> but this is like a, a way in which we can ask questions, right? We can ask questions with why. ¿Y cuál sería, en este caso, la contraparte de why? Because, right? Ok, vamos con la siguiente, que es which. Which. Which is used in questions to ask about choices. O sea que which nos indica opciones. La palabra choices. Here are some examples of W equations with which. Which do you prefer, the red one or the blue one? Entonces nos dice, ¿y cuál prefieres? ¿El rojo o el azul? Entonces, 
El which me indica mi opciones, que si hago este o este. This or this. So, request, choices. Which teacher do you like the most? ¿Cuál maestro te gustó más? Which of my books would you like to borrow? Which of my books would you like to borrow? ¿Cuál de mis libros te gustaría prestar? Entonces, eh, nos da una opción. Por eso vamos a utilizar which. Which one is it? ¿Cuál es este? Which way is it to the library? ¿Cuál camino es el que va, en este caso, a la, a la biblioteca? Which restaurant do we go to? ¿A cuál restaurante vamos? Entonces, cuando usted ocupe which, se recordará de que se refiere a opciones. ¿Cuál? That is the meaning about which. Ok, y vamos con el siguiente, que es how. How is used in questions to ask about various things, including way, manner, condition, quality, and extent, degree. Example, although how doesn't start with WH, how is still considered a WH equation word. Here are some examples of WH questions with how. Eh, vamos a ver el ejemplo. How are you? Porque how nos indica varias cosas, como dice la regla, incluyendo maneras, caminos, condiciones, calidad, niveles, extensiones. Y no comienza con W, sino que esta comienza con H. Por eso es WH. Eh, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? You know, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? How many pencils are there? ¿Cuántos eh, lápices hay ahí? ¿O cuántos lápices hay? How many pencils are there? How was your vacation? How tall is he? How big is the house? Entonces usamos how para decir cómo. Esa es la traducción que le damos. ¿Cómo estás? En este caso, cuando unimos how many, aquí ya la palabra cambia. Porque how many, cuando se une, significa... ¿Cuánto vale, creo? ¿Cuántos o cuántas? Right. How many pencils are there? ¿Cuántos hay? How was your vacation? ¿Cómo, esto, cómo estuvo tu vacación? How tall is he? Eh, ¿Qué tan alto es? How big is the house? Eh, qué tan grande es la casa. Entonces, usamos la palabra how para referirnos a cómo. Look at this. Cuando le dicen, hey, how are you? I'm oh, fine, thanks. I'm fine, thank you. So we're talking about that. Así que veamos algunas preguntas en general. Ok. Teacher. Yes. The meaning of how tall? Tall? Alto. Oh, uh, although. Although. Significa yes. aunque. Aunque. Although. Aunque. Aunque how no comienza con una WH, pero es considerado parte de las W equation. Como les digo, eso es lo que nos dice esta regla. Aunque el how no comience con una W. Pero eh, dentro de las preguntas lo incluyen. Por eso está como how. Eso es lo que nos Thanks. dice acá. Ok. Ok, that is like the way. Vamos a ver. I will ask some questions. Eh, Salvador, where do you live? You can say in San Salvador, in San Sonate. You know, where do you live? San Salvador. Okay. Okay. Ever, what do you do? I do study English, teacher. Okay, cool. Uh, Saul, what department do you belong? Salvador? Uh, I belong to San Salvador. Okay, I belong to San Salvador. Nancy, 
Do you travel in your job? Do you travel in your job? Nancy Lisette. Sí, teacher. Yes. Uh, do you travel in your job? Teacher, ¿qué significa travel? Viajar, que si viaja. Eh, en su trabajo. trabajo. Que si usted viaja en su trabajo, le toca eh, viajar a otro I lugar. I do not. I don't not. Or I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue. Uh, Victoria, what do you do in your free time? Victoria, what do you do in your free time? Yes. What do you do in your free time? Okay, I'm going to go to the house. I'm Yeah, it's teacher. Le creo. <laughs> Le creo. <laughs> yeah, she's responsible. Oh my God. Yeah, sometimes in my free time I do that one. Qué triste, pero sí, verdad. Así que muy bien para usted. Punto ahí. Punto. <laughs> yeah, I, I just plan my classes. I was plan. I work in my lesson plans. Okay, and Karen, what do you like about your job, Karen? Uh, microphone. Um, what do you like about your job? My position. Okay. Okay. Nada. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Entendemos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Comprendemos la situación. Okay, thank you. All right, and what about Jancy Eraso? Jancy, what do you like about your job? I, I like is um, conocer. ¿Cómo se dice? To, to meet, to meet. No. Meet. To qué? Meet or no. Conocer. Eh, entonces vamos a usar no. Okay, okay. I like know uh, new people and new customers, the different customers. Okay, excellent. That was good, that was good. Thank you so much for this. Muy bien, vamos a, a trabajar en el siguiente ejercicio. Dice, create questions based on the answers. Para eso tenemos las siguientes preguntas. I have to write a report about the production every day. I work in the blue building. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. We design and others create the new products. They have a meeting because we have to talk. Entonces, lo que usted va a hacer es que usted va a crear estas preguntas, va a crear las preguntas en base a las respuestas. Para eso lo vamos a trabajar en parejas. We're going to work in pairs. Usted analiza la pregunta y escribe cuál podría ser la respuesta for these questions. Utilizando los WH questions. This is what we had to do. It's okay? Yes? Okay. Thank you. So okay. for this, we're going to make the small groups and you're going to socialize these questions. Así que usted va a crear las preguntas y lo vamos a hacer en pequeños grupos. Let me see. Five groups. Okay, así que tenemos eh, exactly eight minutes to answer. Let's go.
Um, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos. Sorry, teacher. <ríe> ya estaba haciendo las preguntas, ahorita me conecto. Ah, vaya, eh, le, le acabo de mandar una invitación, mire si la tiene ahí. Ahorita, ahorita. Sí, okay. aquí la tengo, teacher, gracias. Ok. Gracias. Soporte de producción sería entonces sería uh -huh. when you write a report about eh, production when sí verdad uh, sí when se quedó como when you when you write a that production report así verdad utilizamos when, when. write a production ¿De report dónde que estaba hablando Miren, no sé, no estoy segura si es con el verbo have, porque contesta con el have. Eh, en have la... uh... Pero como dice when, o sea, cuando, él responde, sí, yo, yo, yo... ¿Cuándo? Por eso sería como cuando tienes que escribir un reporte de producción, no sé. Pero tal vez, tal vez, ¿quién, um, cuando tienes que redactar sería, ¿verdad? Sí, cuando... Porque tiene el how. Ajá, yo decía porque tiene el how. Entonces sería cuando tienes que redactar. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, lo que sería uh -huh. por how. When you have cuando you tienes. Production report. Ajá. Así, ¿verdad? Sí, creo. Sí, la podemos complementar así. Muy bien. How... Right, right. Y el otro sería I work in the roof building. Building. Build, building, creo que es. Teacher, building. 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 Uh, building. Uh -huh. building. Yes. I work in the blue, the trabajo in the blue, uh, in the blue building. So this person is describing in what building he works. Yeah, uh -huh. he's describing in what in building. Which? ¿En uh, cuál sería como en cuál? Ah, ajá. Excelente. Y entonces él indica que está, que él trabaja en ese azul, en el, en el azul. Ajá, está como dándole a elegir. Ok. Which? In which building do you work? Which building do you work? Which work? Which bill uh, do you work? Which bill do you work? Three, Maria and... I start working. ¿Dónde? A, ¿Cómo a qué hora? María ¿Cuándo? y yo comenzamos ¿Dónde? a trabajar para las 10 pm. Ajá. ¿Cómo? ¿A qué horas? En, ¿A qué horas comienzas a trabajar? Pero sería no de él, sino que de ustedes, ¿verdad? ¿Mm? ¿No? María, ¿a qué hora comenzaríamos a trabajar? Sería? ¿A qué hora comenzamos a trabajar? ¿Cuándo? Uh... 
Ahí se dice a qué hora comenzar, comenzamos a trabajar. How? Creo que se hizo. Uy, ¿qué pasó? Ah, como, se me, como se me apagó el teléfono, no tengo la diapositiva. No, y en el otro teléfono estoy viendo, igual los tengo uno con el 21 y el otro con el 30%, así los tengo, como se ha ido la energía. Pero, pero igual la, la, primer, la primera dice... Ay, Aquí la puso el teacher. Thank you, teacher. Ah, sí, ya la, ya la puso. Thank you, teacher. Ok, ¿por qué pregunta van? ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué pregunta van, chicos? In the one, teacher. The first one. Oh, my God. Ok, get ready, guys. Porque hay, hay grupos que ya van ya por las últimas. Ok, I have to write a report about production every Friday. Entonces, ¿qué pregunta es la que va, la que más o menos va? Vamos a formular la pregunta. O sea, la misma respuesta nos dice qué pregunta podemos utilizar. ¿Y cuál es la clave? Los verbos. Como me está preguntando por eh, escribir, entonces, ¿qué pregunta tendría que ir relacionada con write? que es escribir? Escribir. I have to write to report. Yo escribo los reportes todos los viernes, podría ser, de, de pero, producción. Pero la pregunta es, ¿cómo sería? You have... Eh, do you... Okay. Or what do you have to write? Eh, what do you have to write? ¿Y qué tienes que escribir? ¿Qué tienes que escribir? What do you have to write? Y la respuesta es, I have to write... A report about the production every Friday. Yes, I have to write a report. Understand, teacher. Yes? Escribo los reportes. Ajá. Ah, sí, bien. Gracias, teacher. Claro, yes. Ok, y la siguiente es, I work in a, B, in a blue building. Me está preguntando como que... La pregunta sería como que en cuál departamento trabajas, porque él indica que trabaja en el azul. Building, blue building. I have the word. I have the word and the, and the apartment and the building. Blue building. I was saying. The second could be que, que trabajo. in what building you work. Estoy trabajando en el, en el área de apartamento sur.
Okay, uh, we're back. Okay, guys, we're about to conclude. For example, uh, let's compare some of the statements. Uh, for example, the first question that we can use is, uh, what do you have to write? That will be a possible question. Uh, look at this one. What do you have to write? Uh, la pregunta dos. ¿Cómo podríamos utilizar la pregunta dos? Pregunta número dos. Question number two. ¿Cómo, cómo la podrían formular? In where do you work? Building do you work? Puede ser where do you work? Ajá. Which building do you work? Okay. In which building do you work? Okay. In which building do you work? Excellent. Uh, the number three, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. What time do we start work? Aha. Uh -huh. What time do we start work? Okay. Number four, uh, we design and other others create uh, the new product. Yes. Who design? Who? Aha. Uh -huh. Who designs? And, and create the new product. Excellent. Who designs and create the new product? We design and others create new products. Excellent. And the last one. Uh, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Why? What do Why they mean? Why they a meeting? Excuse me? What do they mean? What do they mean? Mm. Why? Oh, why? Ah. Why do they oh, mean? Oh, why do you have a meeting? Why do you have a meeting? Sería mejor. Why do you have a meeting? Do you have? Eh, do, la you have? do you have a meeting? En este caso no dice because. Entonces, la, la pregunta sería por qué? Why? Uh -huh. Y la respuesta es, ah, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the flows and no flows. Nos pide una respuesta. Muy bien, chicos. Excelente. Yeah. Excelente, excelente. Muy bien. Entonces, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Y este día, pues, le correspondía a Katherine Abigail Cuellar, pero no se encuentra este día para que se pueda quedar. Y la siguiente persona es Marlene Yamilet, pero no está tampoco. Hola. Yeah. Ok. We're going to pass the attendance list. Si alguien quisiera adelantarse hoy, por ejemplo, podría hacerlo para que avancemos eh, justo con el tiempo. Si alguien tiene el espacio de los 10 minutos de refuerzo, se puede quedar ahora para que... Sí, yes. A mí me toca el viernes. No Hola. Sé si me puedo adelantar. A mí me toca el viernes. No sé ah, si pues si gusta. Adelantar. Sí, claro, podría adelantarse. Muy bien. Excelente. Ok, solo pasamos la asistencia y nos quedamos brevemente. Y algunos que han tenido problemas con el internet, eh, han tenido dificultades. Ok, Adela Trinidad González. Adela Trinidad González. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Present. Eric Guillermo. Present. Ever. Ever de Jesús. Present. Eh, Gilmar Cruz. Present. Eh, Ina Crisia. Present. José Ángel. José Ángel. Present. Eh, José David Rivera. Karen Lisset Mengíbar. Present. Karina Yamilet. Present. Eh, Catherine Abigail. Catherine Abigail. Eh, ya, no, ya no está. Ok. Marlin Yamilet, Misael Rivera, Nancy Lisset, eh, Oscar Manuel, Present. Eh, Salvador Alfonso, Present. Saúl Adolfo, Present. Eh, Victoria María, Jansi eh, Guadalupe, ok, Jansi Guadalupe, Present. Y Jancy Magdalena. Ok. 
Ok, entonces se puede quedar entonces, ya que pues, se toca el viernes, puede quedarse el, el día de hoy. Así que, thank you guys. Have a beautiful night to everybody. See you in the next class. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You too. Good night. Thank you, you too. Okay, Nancy. How are you, Nancy? ¿Cómo está? Eh, micrófono. Micrófono, Nancy. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, very good. Excellent. Eh, Nancy, is there any topic that you would like to reinforce? ¿Hay algún tema que le gustaría reforzar? ¿O algo que, por ejemplo, usted dice, eh, me gustaría reforzar este tema? Eh, sí, teacher, lo que es este, las conversaciones como que en las conversaciones no sé, no entiendo algunas palabras no las okay. puedo pronunciar ok, vamos a ver buscamos una conversación anterior para que eh, la practique sí. vamos a ver, vamos a ver si en la, creo que la 9, creo que we had a conversation one second eh, ¿cómo ha visto su avance en este nivel? ¿cómo, cómo ha visto su avance? Eh, yo digo que bien, teacher, solo que sí me dificulta en um, ya en lo hablado. Uh -huh. En lo escrito, pues, sí, este, lo escribo bien, digamos. Uh -huh. Solo tengo dificultades en lo, en lo hablado. Uh -huh. Sí, en la, en la forma de, yeah. En la forma de speaking. Ok. Sí. Ya, yeah, sometimes happen. Y yo creo que, que, bueno, estamos en el nivel 1. Entonces, quieras o no, pues, eh, tenemos como esa ventaja de, de que vamos como paso a paso. Y yo creo, yo creo que podamos, que podemos avanzar bastante y que podemos practicar la pronunciación. Vamos paso a paso. Quiero que practiquemos la pronunciación de las siguientes palabras que le voy a mostrar acá. Okay. Eh, Este que tenemos acá, por ejemplo, eh, vamos a practicar estas expresiones que vimos acá. Eh, dice, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. A ver, escucho otra vez. Eh, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Sorry, and identify. 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 What on the customer? What on next? Okay. Ne, ne, cuando va en dos G significa una I. Need, need. ajá, need, ajá. On the, on the ring, the play. Ring okay. play. Ok. That's actually great. That was actually great. And look at this. Look at this. Vamos con la siguiente. Recruit. Recruit. Select. And train. New employees. For the right job. In the company. Recruit. Select. And train. New employees. For the right job. In the company. Recruit, select, and, uh, and try, next, and play. ¿Cómo se lee ahí, teacher? Eh, recruit, employees, employees. Employees. For, for doing, right, right. Right job. Right job in the company. Ok. Vamos a ver otra vez más. Recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Recruit, select, select and G. 
next M blue for bright hot in the company. Otra vez, vamos a ver. Recruit, select, and train new new employees new. for the right job in the company. Recruit, select, employee, new employees for the ring hot the company put and the company a job a job job in, job job yes vamos con la siguiente keep the financial record keep keep, keep the, the financial record of transactions or transaction involving monetary involving monetary inflows inflow and outflows and are from outflows outflows muy bien siguiente control and supervise control and supervise the production the production workforce workforce and employees in, and inventory and inventory y la siguiente develop design develop, design new new or improve existing or improve existing products or processes. Product or processes. Ajá, vamos a ver, vamos a las dos, estas dos últimas me quedaron así como con inquietud. Vamos a ver, research and identify. Research and identify. What customers want. What customers want. And need I at need, the right place. I need at the right place. Ajá, uh -huh, excellent. So, sounds like uh, more natural. Uh, so, actually, it's more natural. Right, let's go. And number two, recruit, select, and train. Recruit, select, and train. New employees. New employees. For the right job. For the right job. In the company. In the company. Vamos a ver, pronunciamos este. Production. Production. Research and development. Research and development. Research. 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 Ok, re y luego ese. Research. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. And development. Research and development. Purchasing. 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 Marketing. Marketing. Human resources and manage management. Cleaner. Perdón. Human. Cleaner. Human resources. Human resource. Resources. Resources. Management. Management. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What's good, Nancy? What's good? Very good. Ok, Nancy. Bueno, creo que nos va a servir bastante para ir practicando, ¿verdad? En cada palabra. Entonces, uno de los mm -hmm. retos que vamos a tener es que para las siguientes clases, cuando pues haya que pedirles a alguien que lea, usted me va a ayudar a leer. Y vamos a ir practicando, eh, por ejemplo, la pronunciación de las palabras en cada clase. Uh -huh. Esa va a ser como una de las estrategias para poder mejorar bastante. Y también, ¿verdad? Estar practicando con la lectura, participar. Eh, eso nos sirve cada día en las clases para que podamos aprender a poder leer de la mejor manera. Ok, perfecto, teacher. Eh, thank you so much, Nancy. I appreciate it. 
Así que eh, esperamos que pueda aprender inglés lo más pronto posible. So, thank you so much for your time, Nancy, and for this change. So, see you, eh, see you tomorrow in class. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Have a beautiful night.